This is what the Jacksonville Jaguars need to do in the 2024 NFL Draft. Ryan Wilson and Pete Prisco from With the First Pick Podcast here to give you an ultimate mock draft for the team that picks 17th overall. All right, Pete, let's jump into the old NFL mock draft database simulator. You are the mayor of Jacksonville. Had a radio show there for a long time until David Garrard and Tim Tebow got you fired. What are you doing at 17th? No, actually, I still do a radio show there um, on Monday nights in Jacksonville with Tony Baselli and uh, J.P. Shadrick, and I'm um, also on their pregame show. So I'm still very involved in that market. And there are a lot of people in that market that think I should be the general manager and not Trent Baalke. So we got that going for us. <laughs> uh, at number 17, I have to get a corner. Uh, I would consider wide receiver there, but I'm going to take uh, Mitchell, the cornerback from Toledo. Is he your key, uh, your cornerback one? Yes, he is. And, and then I, I won't be honest with you. I don't think he would be there when they pick. I think, um, but if but if he is, I would grab him. It's going to be close. I think we'll see how these runs on the edge rushers and uh, edge uh, and offensive tackles, and of course the quarterbacks, and maybe even a wide receiver or three. Maybe that pushes him or Terry and Arnold down. Would you take Terry and Arnold Hill too? Yes, I take either one of them. But if they're both gone, then I would probably go in a different direction, wide receiver maybe. All right, let's do it, producer Harry. Let's take Quinion Mitchell. That feels like a layup. Maybe it makes too much sense. Is Darnell Savage going to play in the nickel, or is he going to play true safety? Yeah, you know they keep saying he's going to play nickel, um, but how? He, I mean, look, he can play in the big nickel. He can't cover a, sl- a receiver as a slot corner, so that makes right. no sense. Plus, all right, uh, Cisco's in the final year of his deal, so they could uh, move on from him after this year. So, pick forty-eight, Lad McConkey, my favorite player in this draft class, is staring us in the face. How do you feel about Lad McConkey at forty-eight? I think Latin McConkey is a really interesting player, and um, but is Mitchell still on the board? I don't see him there. Uh, oh, wait, who? A.D. Mitchell? From- oh, I bet A.D. Mitchell's gone. Let's see. So Lad's the, the best available. He may not be here 48 in real life. Your guy Troy Franklin's still there, or Ricky Pearsall, if you prefer him. Jalen Polk, the uh, Washington wide receiver, who also had a good season. Yeah, see, um, in this scenario – you know I like Troy Franklin, but I think they have that kind of guy already. So I, I would probably pass on this wide receiver in this oh grouping. Gosh. Oh, my yeah, gosh. I would. I'd probably go uh, – let me see who's left on the defensive line. So Darius Robinson's there. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch him closely. Yeah, yet. I don't he, think he fits with the, what they do. Okay, because he's um, sort of a tweener. Uh, Brayton Fisk? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Not – not big enough though for them he's special though what position are you are you do you want to target i would you know you know what let's go back to the let's go back to the wide receiver group and we'll take we'll take uh mcconkey yeah that guy i like i think mcconkey's gonna be a really good nfl player i agree i don't think he's gonna make it out of the first round by the way i think if he went 32nd i would not be shocked to the kansas city chiefs yeah um, and that, look, man, the Buffalo Bills just got rid of Stephon Diggs. They have some questions they have to sort out as well. Uh, I think he's a special player. 96 overall. We still need help. How about help. Baltimore? How about Baltimore taking him? Yeah. They need another receiver, and uh, and oh he worked God. with Todd Monken at Georgia. Yeah, that actually it makes a lot of sense. And I think he's a more of a – he may not well, – oh, athletically, he tested through the roof as well, so it's not even that. Yeah, he, he's – I think we're – Selling him short, probably because he's he's a white guy, for being honest. But I think he he's a uh, top 32 talent. He's probably not there 48. But for our reasons, he is. Congratulations to Trevor Lawrence. All right, pick 96 here. Uh, Kieran Amagaji is at the top of this board. He's the uh, – Here goes here goes my Trent Balky joke, okay? Uh, <laughs> the next available linebacker on that board would be <laughs> who? Because that's who he would probably take. He's the he, linebacker. But Jeremiah no, Trotter, he, Jr., come no, on down. I'm not taking him. I'm, I'm kidding around, by the way. I don't think he would take him. Uh, I think we got to look at the offensive line here uh, and see who's available at either inside and outside. I, I, look, me personally, I would take McCormick in this I spot. Love McCormick. So I would, would you play him at guard or center? I both play both places. You got an old guy at right guard. You just signed Morse, who's not a young kid either. Yeah, uh, I think you could play him at either side. So I'd take McCormick in this. Spot. I agree. And on, truthfully, he may not be here by, he the, won't time, be there. by the time we get to to real love life. him. Love him. He's a great player. If you want to see a fun tape, go watch South Dakota State play Northern uh, Northern Iowa. Christian Boyd's going to get drafted pretty high as well. The defensive tackle. He had a he had a, a good time with Christian Boyd. Um, not very few people were able to control Christian Boyd like Mason McCormick did. All right, pick one fourteen, Pete. Where are you going now? Uh, let's let's go back to the cornerback position. Oh, doubling up. 
Yeah, I I need lots of corners, and and this guy could is is a hybrid for me. Uh, wait, keep going down. Where's my? Let me see what you got there. Who's your guy? Who are you looking for? I wouldn't take him here, but uh, you know who I'll take in this spot because I like him, and I think he can play safety too. Long you, corner. You're gonna Cam say Cam Hart. Hart? I knew yeah. it. I knew it. Yeah, I'll take Cam Hart. So he fits sort of what they want to do in, the, in in terms of the length. He's C.J. Henderson type. He's not that type of player. But you don't. I, I thought he was at this point. I'm okay. I thought he's a little stiff. Our buddy Rick's been like him a lot. I think he's going to go play safety eventually. I am okay with that. And at 114, yeah. I'm fine with that too. All right, Harry, let's take Cam Hart here out of Notre Dame. The Brady Quinn Memorial pick. At one pick 116, two picks later, right back on the clock. I'm going to take my guy Spencer Rattler here. Give Trevor Lawrence a little competition. No. They got your guy Mac Jones there. They don't need another guy that you <laughs> he's can a bust home, on. He's a hometown kid. They have to pay for housing for him, so uh, they they saved a few bucks. Uh, let me see who else is available on the offensive line again. Oh man, Christian Mahogany's still there. The interior guy to BC, Zach Center. Any who, tackle know, still there? Well, we got a tackle. Uh, so Blake Fisher, who played uh, opposite Joe Ald at Notre Dame, came in as a higher graded player. Javon Foster. How about out defensive of, tackles? Out of Missouri, probably has to kick inside. Defensive tackle Tyler Davis, the enormous uh, Clemson defensive tackle, Makai Wing- Wingo, Christian Boyd. My guy is still there. Get my Christian, get Christian Boyd and Mason McCormick on the same team. What about uh, the tight end? Let me give me a tight end again. Jaheim Bell. I wanted to see more from him. Eric All is not as athletic as I would like. Here, I'll give you one. I'll take, I'll take Wiley. Yeah, take your guy Wiley at TCU. Like him there. All right, let's do it. Got us tight end now. Pick 153. And next up. So, what do we got here? We got corner. Wide receiver, got us a uh, center and a safety, and then a tight end. So maybe offensive tackle, defensive, defensive line defensive here. Interior. Give me a deep defensive interior guy, a big guy. Let me Christian see. Christian Boyd's got. good, man. I don't know if you've watched. Wingo's him. a good player, but he, he is. Not, he, he's he's a little undersized. He's not big though. But he's they, twitchy. Yeah, could put Wingo in there. Okay. No. They need, um, somebody to get, they need somebody to get up the field. And I think he's going to get better. All right, two more picks here, 212. This is actually a pretty good draft. I say that, and then when the folks back of the, watch, back of the, back of the end roster, I need some uh, some speed. Some athletes. Uh, yeah, I need speed. You're talking about special team speed, wide receiver speed, defensive wide back Wide receiver, speed. defensive back speed. I need All right. speed. I like Nehemiah Pritchett here. Uh, I'm not a huge Mustafa out of Wake Forest fan, but maybe you feel different. Jalex Hunt is a is a former safety from Cornell who transferred, and he plays edge rusher, and he's he's learning the position, but he's souped up. Keep going. Jaheim I'll Bell again, the athlete, the tight end. I drafted a tight end though. Yeah, he's sort of a jack of all trades. I'm not sure. I would like to see more out of him, but uh, I've keep said going. That. I want to see some big bodies. I need some big bodies. Marcel Harris is a guy that I like. I know our guy, Lee Doosable, likes Marcel Harris. The defense tackle out of Auburn. I like Marcel Harris, too. But keep going. I'm going to see what else is available. In my is my guy Coleman still available? Yeah, right there. I Brandon mean, Coleman. Not the... Coleman. I mean, uh, Jackson. Which Jackson? From Washington State. Oh, Brandon Jackson, 100%. Go to Edge Rush, if you don't mind, Harry. I bet he's there. Although... We're late in the contest. He yeah, might be gone. He's, he's gone. gone. He's yeah, gone. he's gone. So Brendan Jackson out of Washington State's gone. Got to pull um, the trigger earlier on that one. Yeah, give me. I don't like. I, they don't need any. If I got the center early, I don't need one. Regard. Uh, you know, I'll take. I'll take Harris. Okay, Marcus Harris, interior defensive lineman at Auburn. I think he. We haven't talked a lot about him, but I. I thought he had good. A good season. He was okay. The Senior Bowl, not great, but I think the people are sleeping on him. I think he has a chance to be a pretty good player. All right, one last pick here. Is my corner from Louisville still around? Uh, who's that, Brownlee? Yeah, he's probably gone. He's long gone. We're deep into the to yeah. the process here. Kamal Haddon I like a little bit. Ryan Watts is a good player out of Texas. Uh, I will tell you this. Have you watched Braden McGregor yet out of Michigan, the edge rusher, number 17? Not bad. He's souped up for, especially at this point in the process, looking for athletes. I think yeah, I like him a little. Him, p- put him on the board. Yeah, I'll take. I like him a little they, better. They, than... they, they always take a flyer on a pass rusher. Yeah, absolutely. All right, all right. So that's it, my... right, Harry? I think we're wrapped up here. So uh, let's recap quickly here. Quinion Mitchell would be a grand slam at seventeen. He'd start right away. Yeah, Lad McConkey would get a ton of playing time. By the way, Campbell's in the last year of his deal too. So 
Mason McCormick, he's is he a day one starter? Almost certainly. Probably not because Morse will start and Sheriff will start. Okay. Well, as soon as one of those guys gets banged up, uh, Mason McCormick's the plan B. Cam Hart has a chance to contribute. Uh, you mentioned Andre Sisco's last year of his deal. Your guy, Jared Wilder, the tight end at TCU, still there. Makai Wingo and Marcel Harris and Braden McGregor, three defensive guys to wrap things up. That wraps up the old Perfect Jaguar Draft class. Make sure to subscribe to the NFL on CBS on YouTube and download the With the First Week podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Stay tuned for more Ultimate Mock Drafts because we're hitting all 32 teams. <laughs>